Hello heroes. What an amazing journey this has been over these last 50 episodes for the season. When you look back, how did it start? It all started with this, this numbness, this disengagement, this, uh, this low level depression. And so there was this something inside that had to come out, realizing that deep down, from when we were little kids, we always yearned to be the hero. Both men and female, it's all of us. We all wanted to be admired and idealized for contribution, courage, amazing achievement and nobility. How many of us are living this secret identity, this less than watered down version of our truth? What if we just remembered who we really were? What if we embrace the I am. I am the hero. I am an amazing person. You know, knowing that we could have the pride, we could have the ego, we could have the humility all wrapped up in one, and we can make a huge difference in this planet and do the things that we love to do. So the We Are Heroes show, what you went through, that whole entire journey was, it started with the concept. It started with me in a very dark time asking myself why. Why? Why am I doing what I do? And that why finally came down to a selfish why which is basically because I want to be admired for doing amazing things on this planet and I want to be able to give back to the world in a way no one's ever seen before. So it's very tough because we don't want to move forward in life because we're always afraid of going, well, what's next? I don't know the next thing, so we, it holds us back. But that's the most guaranteed thing is the unknowns. You see, in the unknowns, the relationships you, you meet along the journey, the bumps in the road, the things that just happened to, to come to pass, that's where the genius lives. That's where the story's at. That's where the greatness is at. And that's where all the opportunity at. So we hired the team with Battleborn Media and we came together and we documented the entire journey. You saw everything behind the scenes. So you're seeing me do it in live time so you could see the unknowns happen just like I see them happen. You could see how everything works out when you take a stand and when you take a step. And so as you go through that journey of the unknowns, you see everything that's going on, it leaves a blueprint for you. So the We Are Hero shows was to something to leave a blueprint for you so you could give yourself permission to embrace your hero as well. So we started out chiropractor Dr. Crisano. Now remember, I was finding my identity in what I did as a profession. So my identity was, was all wrapped up into I was Dr. Crisano. And the thing is, so that means if my office was doing great, I was happy. If it was doing bad, I was sad. So my entire identity was based in that practice, which isn't bad, it was a great identity. Don't get me wrong, but the thing is, instead of it being in the, in the practice, I focused, it, that, that office dictated my life on how I was as a human being versus me realizing who I was created to be and who I was destined to be. Being the hero is now I could be a hero and bring the hero to the practice and the patients, bring the hero to you guys, not the other way around. Not, not those things dictating who I am and getting my identity from that. So embracing this hero mindset, getting out to the world, so, so this is the moment, we have to make it happen. Now when we documented it, it meant that I was accountable because one of the most important things for me to move forward is I make sure I'm accountable. I'm accountable to you guys. We have to move forward. So yeah, we met with Roberto. You'll see we met with Roberto Monaco. You guys met him around episode three. I said, Roberto, here's this new message. And Roberto is my speaking coach and he knows how to help me. He's like, Chris? Just get a place, get one or two cameras, and we, did, and we have this massive, I don't know, a month from now. I'm gonna do it in front of 100 people. And that, that right, gets me nervous, but listen, Keeping me nervous, keeping me under pressure and accountable keeps me moving forward. It keeps you moving forward as well. So we started working on this hero message and then we, you found us going to Utah. So we went to Utah and we met with Dr. Patrick Gentempo. We had that mastermind where we really laser focused and got that hero message clear. Very clear, the premise of the hero message that, you know, this basically the premise was this message is for those that are sleepwalking through life, living their secret identity. You know, I exist to wake them up and reconnect them with their greatness, their genius, and the buried hero. And for those of you that are awake, I provide a powerful, influential experience for you to help further develop your gifts, your talents, and your superpowers so you can magnify your influence to go serve and wake up others. So when you get that clear premise in your life and you get that down, you're like, that is my war cry now, that is my purpose, now we do it. So we did that with Dr. Jim Temple, we did that in Utah. And then we were in Utah, when we were in Park City, Utah, then we met with Garrett Gunderson, he met us for literally five minutes because they had a death in their, uh, their dog died, a little death in their family. So I saw him for five minutes and he's like, Chris, I'm like, two weeks, that's like, I, you know, I'm coming home in two days, that's only like 12 days to prepare. He's like, you'll be fine, just do a 20 minute keynote. 
So now I'm even more scared, right? So here's the unknown, right? Boom, there's the unknown. So then I went back, uh, I went back home, Roberto, Roberto, it's not a month, it's in 12 days, let's do it. How long's it gotta be? 20 minutes, 20 minutes. So then we took our foot, we sh were shrinking it down to 20 minutes. Boom, then the next thing you see, I go to Salt Lake City. And I go and I perform the first hero keynote. There it was. And it was a very special moment for me. That I believe that was episode 24. It was my favorite episode. Because that for me was taking something that was tangible, the idea that the, the seed in the heart that was there for years, dormant, and now bring it to a, a, an actual tangible reality. We could touch it, feel it, and react to it. Because when it comes to becoming a hero, Embracing the hero mindset is part of it. Maximizing your superpowers and unique talents is part of it. So the secret identity we put on, it's a protective mechanism. It holds us back, it keeps us from being our most, but it's there, it's our body's way of protecting us. So instead of getting angry at it, getting mad at it and, and, and forcing it off, I embraced it and I loved it, realizing the purpose of it. And that's why in that episode, you hear me walking on stage going, dear secret identity, thank you for trying to protect me all these years. You are no longer needed. The hero rises. And that's the time when I walked on that stage that I embraced in that moment, the I am, and that completed that full circle of the exact principles I teach you guys. And then from that moment on, things started to explode. So we came back from Salt Lake City, and then a friend of mine, Dr. Isaac Jones, is listening to meet this guy, Pete Vargas, with Reach Academy. He's great at getting people on stages. I'm like, oh, it's happening. So we have a call with Pete, and then he's like, I'd love to have you here. And I'll be honest, you would you would be an incredible fit. And then when I saw the the uh, to buy a ticket, it had like general admission, all these other things, and there was this VIP ticket. And the VIP ticket, they had a speak off on it. That mean you would have to speak in front of meeting planners and a camera and a timer. And when I looked at it, my first, my physical instinct was I got nervous and scared. And when I feel that, instead of running from it, I said, that's the one I'm doing. So I circled that. So I found the info. So here, 20 minute keynote took forever. I mean, it felt like I had to cut limbs off to get to 20 minutes. Then I now had three minutes. I'm like, three minutes, you gotta be kidding me. So then, Roberto, three minutes. He's like, oh, he's, you know, his accent. He's like, oh man, I, I don't know. So we, boom, we get that thing down to three, I mean, three minutes on the dot. But now, Dr. Dan Papa, you see, then we went to Atlanta. Boom, we, so we go to Atlanta. Uh, to uh, Dr. Pompa's Health Centers for the Future and the True Cellular Detox Seminar. So I got to go to Dr. Pompa's event. Whitney and I spoke on stage there. And then I got to do a private breakout with the platinum members of, of that seminar. And I got to deliver the, the Hero Keynote again with Q&A. And again, reassurance. You know, we've got to really see how this is now becoming not something tangible, but it's now changing and transforming people's lives. We, we left from Atlanta. We had a great time there. And then we went to Nashville, Tennessee and we saw Dr. Josh Axe and everybody over there, which was great and amazing. We had a, a fun time with Dr. Josh, a good friend of mine. And again, meeting people, all the unknowns are happening. Met with, and we're doing some great things that you'll see in the future with them. And then the week after that, so now we're starting to travel. All the unknowns, these doors are opening up, but I'm taking the opportunity. I don't know what to expect, but you know what? I'm laying down the cement one step at a time and we're letting life kind of guide you through the way. Now we go to Colorado Springs and that's when we do the Reach Live event. So I met in front of the meeting planners for the three minutes, boom, nailed that three minutes. Why did I nail it? Because I visualized winning, not winning, I visualized doing it. I visualized being the best I can. So I didn't just practice it three minutes here and there. I practiced it hundreds and hundreds of times over and over. My son will say, so, you know, I'd be at the dinner table mumbling it, mumbling because I was getting it. I had to get it because because I knew I, would, I, I envisioned doing it. I envisioned passing to the, to, to, to the final round. I saw it and I became inspired by myself. That's why I say visualize to inspire yourself and motivate yourself. So boom, did the three minutes, boom, passed, got to the, uh, got to the final round, did that. The timer went off uh, before I was done to wake them up and we, oh crap. <laughs> I was done. But man, I got to do it. It was great applause. And I, right there, I got uh, validation because here's the whole thing, you know, you might have a message and if you have a great idea, it's, it might be great to your mom or to your dad or to your friends, but how is the market think of it? How do you guys think of it, right? So what's the world think of the message? Is the, is the world ready for your message? From doing that five minutes, then you got the, 
the feedback from the meeting planners who run the big stages and these big events, and these are people that see all types of speakers on their stage, and when they had positive feedback, it was the check mark saying, okay, now the, the market desires this this message. So that was the validation I needed from there and then it just op kept on opening up more unknowns, more unknowns, more unknowns. And then from Colorado Springs, you saw it taking us to a couple weeks later, a powerful weekend. You know, we flew, now, you know, now we're having, you know, the keynotes going on all the time. So I flew to Clearwater for the Health Experts Alliance, uh, amazing seminar there in Clearwater, Florida. Spoke on stage there, you know, hopped on a plane, immediately right for Denver, Colorado to the Elite Coaching Summit, spoke there. And it was just an amazing time. So you could see it start. It really now became something real, moving, and it's alive. Where with episode one, it was hazy. I, I, I knew at episode one, the reason why we document it all, when I tell you hazy, it's like, I didn't know what was there, but I, I kind of knew there was just enough substance that my, there might be something over there. That's how unclear it was. I'm motivating you guys who are inspiring you because it's okay that it's unclear, even though we know, but I knew that if I moved, if I put action behind it, the unknowns would open up. So now it became from something unclear to now, you know, it became something very solid, very real. It's not just, it's super solid, super crystal clear now, now moving on to even bigger and better things. So this entire blueprint, so the reason why, when you look at the 50 uh, videos, it completed the circle. We talk about the reverse bullseye. The reverse bullseye is this, the little circle in the middle, until you complete that circle, now you can get to see everything, now you have enough knowledge, wisdom, and the unknowns unlocked the bigger ring. And now, now you go on another journey in that pattern. And now when you complete that, now you see the bigger ring, and then the bigger ring. So our goal is to keep on expanding. The journey never ends. You know, I would, I would call this my act three, but there's, there's no final act. You, you, as human beings, we are destined and created to grow. So there's two types of people that are watching this. Number one, those of you who wanna be the hero exactly where you're planted, becoming the greatest version of yourself. That's number one. We want you to be a hero wherever you're at. But there might be some of you out there that it's that seven to 10 year itch where now your, your seasons of your life are changing. Maybe it's a new profession, a new idea. Maybe you did it, you checked off the boxes and now you're ready to say, you know what, I worked my entire life so I could do this someday. So we start doing that someday. So whether you wanna be a hero where you're planted or you're ready to change the next season, this hero, the, the hero project is absolutely for you. It's for me, it's for all of us. And so hopefully this laid out the blueprint so you can give yourself permission to be the hero. Other great things we saw, is uh, the kids, you saw the entire family involved with this. So my wife, I have the support of my wife. You saw my kids, you saw Justice get his black belt in karate. You see Titus. Megatronus is Megatron. Every episode wearing what? Superhero costumes. You know, the whole hero thing, if it wasn't for my kids reminding me who I was, you see, I didn't remind myself in a sauna one day of who I was. You know, God used my kids. When I see Titus every day, I'm like, wow, my kids have amazing qualities. They're confident, they're playful, they have imaginations, they're creative, they're, they question limits, they're closers, they close me on everything. I'm like, what amazing qualities. And it hit me, I'm like, well, wait a second, they're my kids. That's every kid, that's your kids. And I said, holy cow. That was me. So it wasn't about that I needed something. I just need to be remembered. That's the, that was the pure quality. It's like insecurities educated. So that was the pure quality that we all need to remember. So my children gave me the, they, they helped me remember. They were my teachers reminding me who we really were, but I, have, I, have, I had worn a secret identity for so long, I looked in the mirror and I didn't realize that I was the hero the entire time, just like you. So it was great that you got to see my whole entire family. We had a lot of good, funny moments. You got to see uh, you know, our Whole Foods. You know, What's the two things, if you guys watch it, what's the two things when we travel that we need? No matter what, the first thing we do before the trip, we'll find out where the Whole Foods is, or after the plane, and then where the gym is. And uh, so you, you got to see our love for Whole Foods. You got to see uh, how Whitney, also blossomed. You can see she's my partner in crime. She's the CEO of this entire event. And she also blossomed in her own way and her own message around the world as well. So just thank you guys so much for the We Are Heroes. And you know, what you guys do, you could kind of piece everything together. But you know, this has been an amazing journey. I just want to thank all of you for finding your hero along with us on this journey. Now go out and help wake up others so they could give themselves permission to embrace the hero as well. 
Now the journey never ends, but this journey will be continued. See you soon.